Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing a full case break of 2017 Panini Donruss Optic Football. This is a 12 box. Pick your team break number three from jazbeeshobbyland.com. This takes about an hour, so get settled in, get relaxed, get ready for the big hits because we've been pulling big hits out of here. And hopefully, we'll pull more for these folks right here. On a Thursday, we had a great new release night last night. And uh, we're, we're getting things going tonight, too. Big thanks to Joseph Johns. That's why he's a little star next to him. That's the last spot Mojo star. He gets the Bears. And here is the case. And here we go. Good luck, everyone. Twelve boxes right there. <clears throat> I think I got everything I need here. All right. Good luck, everybody. There's hot boxes this year. At least three autographs seems like, and at maybe two per case. At least one per case. We've seen a hot box. That seems to be. Anecdotally, anecdotally, what people are saying. Man, it's not a good start. There we go. All right, good luck, everyone. And there's case hits, too, which are usually the relic autos. But yesterday, we got three hot boxes instead of what seems to be the normal two. So there was no relic auto. Something, something to keep in mind, everybody. I'll do. Uh, I'll show the autographs really quick at the end of every box. So, if you're rewatching this on YouTube, you can just kind of fast forward through until the stack gets down pretty low, and then I'll show you what we what we pulled. Now after this, I'm not sure what we're doing after this. I know we've got totally certified basketball in single digits and we have Bowman's Best Baseball in single digits. I'm glad we're knocking this out a little bit earlier because um, because when uh, when the room is full during like prime time hours, which is about another hour or so, we can get a lot of uh, other breaks, shorter breaks going and then maybe we can have, and that'll still give us enough time to maybe fill up another optic football maybe for the last hour of the broadcast. That would be ideal. Ideal for a Thursday night. All right, box number one. Good luck, everybody. I'm going to lead off with Drew Brees. Rookies Mitch Trubisky. We got Tredavious White for the Bills at a 299. That is for Sam and the Bills. We got Mike Williams Gridiron Kings. 80 out of 99 for the Los Angeles Chargers. That goes to Victor Z. Saw Victor Z in the room a little bit earlier. And our first autograph is 9 out of 99 rated rookie on card auto, Curtis Samuel. What up, Kip? Happy Christmas. Merry holidays. 90 out of 99 for the Panthers. Jackie Rutko with that one. There you go. I like the AKA cards. The parallels look cool too. Joe Howard, what's going on? How are you? You have the Ravens, right? Yeah, he has the Ravens in this one. See, these look like they're parallels, but they're not. I think they're just refractors, yeah. So that's why I'm kind of breezing by those. Alex Smith, 15 out of 25 for the Chiefs, who have suddenly decided to become resurgent. Yesenia, that's for you. Jamal Williams, 56 out of 99. Packers, that'll go to James Barron. Chiefs are like, hey, we're going to start playing like a playoff team again. Josh McCown for the Jets. Jets have been playing everybody tough this year out of 149. They are, I think they have a winning record against the spread. There's those retro cards right here. Nice. Love these. I'm 
Malik Hooker, who should be emerging as a really great corner. 71 out of 99, Melvin Gordon. Nice one for Victor Z and the Chargers. And Joe Williams for the Niners out of 199. Boy, they, they look different with Garoppolo playing, right? They might be a surprising team next year. And return of the Mac at the back. All right, box one in the books. And we'll sleeve all we'll sleeve all these up and top load them before they get shipped out. All right, next one. And there'll be a transcendent ra randomizer too, folks, at the end of this. We're giving away a transcendent baseball spot. If you bought at least two teams, you'll get uh, you'll get one entry max per person per break. Get this going. I think I think with Kip and Joe here, Joe Howard here, I think we have two Ravens fans here, if I'm not mistaken. How do you feel about your Ravens, you guys? Yeah, that's right. We'll talk Baltimore football here on Jaspies. We're not like ESPN where we only cover the Lakers, the Cavs, or just LeBron, I guess, and the Patriots, and SEC teams. You know, that's not what we do. We'll, we'll talk small market, smaller market teams. We'll talk Baltimore. We'll talk Milwaukee sports. So we got all that. We'll talk it. Kip is going to the game on Saturday. Who are they playing this Saturday? I, for, I actually forget. In fact, I have, that's why I pulled up a schedule here so we can take a look at this. Uh, oh, Colts at Ravens on Saturday. Yeah, you guys have this. What are your playoff implications? I know that you guys are on the outside looking in, right? I think you're mathematically still in it. I was like, lucky they're playing bad teams. Um, yeah, Ravens. Let's see what we got. Oh, so it's basically win and win and end. You guys have your you guys have control of your own destiny. Win and end. All right. Well, you guys are gonna win, right? Colts. If you guys lose to the Colts, you don't deserve to go to the playoffs. I think. Brian Hoyer, 49 out of 99 for the Niners. That'll be for James Barron. No more Brian Hoyer. We've got, who else do we have? Deshaun Watson. Wow, two color patch and autograph. Deshaun Watson, 11 out of 20 for Joe Hauer and the Texans. I pull scrubs, if you remember him from the breakers.tv days. I pull scrubs, not pulling scrubs here. Nice Deshaun Watson. That is strong. That's the case hit too. There's James Connor. That is numbered out of 149. That'll go to the uh, Steelers. That'll be for Jackie. T.J. Watt. You're welcome, Joe. 10 out of 50 for T.J. Watt and the Steelers. Jackie with the Steelers. Ballhawk, a.k.a. Ed Reed, Ballhawk. 60 out of 149. Speaking of the Ravens, that'll also go to Joe Howard. Um, what, are, what else are we breaking tonight? Well, whatever you want to break tonight, CLT, that's up to you. I've got, I'm here until 11 o'clock Pacific, 2 a.m. Eastern, so plenty of time to break 
pretty much whatever you want to do tonight, especially if it's new release. Those are the ones selling the most quickest, most quickly, most more quicker, more quick. 43 out of 99, Chad Kelly for the Broncos. That'll go to Connor. It's a nice case here. I think that Nathan Peterman might be numbered. No, it's not. That Mike Williams, these are just refractors, silver prisms, as they call it sometimes. Le'Veon Bell out of 299 for the Steelers. Another one for Jackie. We got TD Terrell Davis, 129 out of 149. And that's for the. Uh, oh, thank you. So I'm going to get out of here. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Manana. See you manana. See you manana. Have a good night, boss man. Oh yeah, just. Okay. Should just I? There for you. All right, thank you. I'll I'll put the rest in the fridge. Yeah, yeah whatever you don't. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Elise. Bye. Bye. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. box. Oh, well, I might as well talk a little schedule. Colts at Ravens will be your first game of the week on Saturday. You know what? I'm going to switch over to some Vegas odds. Who cares about the schedule when you've got Vegas odds? All right. We'll go, uh, who do I like here? We'll go, we'll go Westgate Superbook. People like the Westgate, right? We'll go Westgate Superbook. Oh, wow. Baltimore is minus 13 and a half. The Ravens are minus 13 and a half. Hmm. You know, you know what they say. If you're if you are a, a road dog, but a road double digit dog, is that the rule? I don't know. I forget. If you're a road double digit dog, you gotta go, you gotta you gotta go with the, the underdog, right? Minus 13 and a half. Who's that line? Maybe. Maybe it's road favorite. Anyhow, I, I gotta go with Baltimore. I think I think the Ravens are gonna are gonna pull away at the end. Ravens by two touchdowns? Sure. I'll give it to them. Alright, Minnesota. Yeah, but they can win by 14 points though, right? Against the Colts? Yeah, if you get three for playing at home, I, I can see that. You know what? I think the rule is if you have if you have double-digit road favorites, you take the home team or something like that. Anyway, Minnesota's close. Minnesota is minus nine going into Green Bay. Minnesota is minus nine going into Green Bay. I, th I don't think the I don't think the Packers are gonna win, but I think they could keep it within within that nine. I go with Packers there. All right, next box. We got Tyreek Hill for the Chiefs, twelve out of fifty. That'll go to Yasinia. We got Mr. Biscuit for the Bears. The rookie is D.D. Westbrook, who's been playing well. That's not numbered. This is numbered. We've got Bucky Hodges for the Vikings out of 299. Vikings, that'll go to Wolf. It's the Vikings triple five in the room. Joe Williams out of 99 for the Niners. That's for James. And Odell Beckham Jr. for the New York Football Giants out of 149. That'll go to Stanley. New York Football Giants with a weird season. A lot of injuries, didn't really start off right. They were losing a lot of close games and then it just kind of spiraled. There's Aaron Jones, speaking of the Packers. Nice. 10 out of 15, nice low number for Green Bay. That is for James Barron.
Frank Gore for the Colts out of 149. Khalil Mack refractor in that retro card look. I like that retro look. Chris Wormley for the Ravens. Out of 149. Playing like a Raven today. Nathan Peterman. Out of 149. That'll go to Sam and the Bills. Right over here, CLT. That's how many boxes are left. Nice Aaron Jones. Oh, interesting. Joe Howard's prediction is that uh, once, once the Ravens defensive coordinator retires, and once Pagano is fired from the Colts, the Ravens will hire him. No, Mar Marvin Lewis, Marvin Lewis is not, you know that's not going to happen, Kip. Marvin Lewis has something on the owner. That's the only reason why he's been there that long. Wait, no, has he been fired? Wasn't he fired recently? Oh, they're reporting that he's going to retire or something like that. He's going to leave under his own, like, I think that's what it was. No, he's not going to go. Marvin Lewis, is, he, he has some kind of dirt on the, on the Bengals' owner. There's some kind of conspiracy there. Welcome back, Kyle. Must be a server thing sometimes. I feel like, I don't know, maybe like when you log on to a different YouTube server, maybe. I don't know. All right, so I'm taking uh, I'm taking Green Bay. Minnesota's minus nine. I'm taking Green Bay at home. I don't think they're going to win outright, but I think they'll get within there. Mm. Look at this exciting matchup. Detroit. Speaking of the Marvin Lewis, Detroit at Cincinnati. Woo! Detroit at Cincinnati. Lions minus four. I'm sure everyone is excited about that game. Um, I would not, I would not put any kind of money on that game. Like on paper, on paper the Bengals look great. I have to admit, like on paper they look great, but just, just something not, just not working. Lions minus four. I don't know who, who would, who would you take? Evan Ingram, two seventy four out of two ninety nine. One of the bright spots on the Giants. That'll go to Stanley, and your autograph is Hassan Reddick. Nice. For the Cardinals. Rick Hunt with the Cardinals. That's a low number too, Rick. That's 7 out of 35. Nice. Hassan Reddick is your Cardinals autograph. Gridiron Kings. Ben Roethlisberger. Thought that was going to be numbered. Possible hotbox. That auto came, out, came a little bit early. Mike Evans. Out of 149 for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Marty. Joe saying, oh, it is. It is a hot box. Jeremy Sprinkle. I sure hope he opens up a cupcake store after his uh, playing days. Although I think there's a cupcake shop called Sprinkles out here in L.A. I don't know if that's a national thing. Maybe you can buy a franchise. Illusions. Curtis Samuel C. Smith Sr. A is out of 99. Uh, no, I'm not in my fantasy football league. I have definitely had a very poor season. Mitch Trubisky, 18 out of 50 for the Bears. 
be for Joseph Johns. Quincy Wilson, gold. That card is gold. That goes to the Colts. That'll be for Rick and the Colts. Three out of ten. So there should be, usually it's a four autograph hot box. And, well, there's the fourth, R. Joshua Dobbs. That goes to Jackie and the Steelers. Nice R. Joshua Dobbs. Nice on-card audio. It's a nice autograph, too. Brian Hill to 149 for the Falcons, for the Dirty Birds. That'll be for Stan Lee. Richard Sherman. Retro. Khalil Mack. And Vaughn Miller. Nice retro card. 57 out of 99. That'll go to the Broncos. Little Oppo Joe Mojo going to Connor. Jarrell Freeman out of 99. <laughs> what is Lars doing? Lars is doing Lars stuff. He's always traveling around. I don't know. He must rob banks or something like that. I don't know where he's getting all this money to like travel and do random things. He's doing well. Doing Lars things, of course. Mr. LT, what's going on? What's broken so far? Well, all of our videos are posted already. We did uh, Flawless to start the day. And then we did um, Bowman's Best. And this is our third break of the day. This is Optic Football number Pick Your Team 3. I think we'll have another Bowman's Best going after this. And then I'm not sure what we're doing after that. Maybe Totally Certified Basketball? That was pretty close. Um, all right, let's go keep going through some games here. I don't like that Detroit-Cincinnati game. I'll take the Lions. Joe Howard saying we might even see A.J. McCarron that game. Yeah, I'll go Lions minus four. Um, Chargers at Jets. Chargers are minus six and a half, I think. I think Westgate is giving them minus six and a half. Other place are seven. Uh, I say, you know what? I say the Jets. I don't think the Jets will win, but West Coast team going at uh, going to the East Coast. The Jets have a winning record against the spread, I think, against the points. I say, uh, I say Jets. The Jets have been a pretty pretty solid team this year. Rams at Tennessee. Los Angeles Rams are minus seven. Minus seven for the Rams. Hmm. I think I'd go Rams there. Rams are just playing extreme are playing extremely well. Everything's clicking for the Rams. Running game, Goff playing well. Passing game looks good. Offensive line looks good. Defense is great. Kyle saying that the Rams are going to blow Tennessee out. Tennessee allergic to scoring. Mac, you want Mavs and certified? Well, then go, go and get it. Jaspieshobbyland.com. You know where it is. Julio. Out of 299. Let's, any guesses on this redemption right here? That goes to the Dirty Bird, Stanley. Eddie Lacy. Out of 50, 44 out of 50. How's Eddie Lacy done? I feel like we've not heard of Eddie Lacy, right? Just didn't quite work out. Out of 149, these will be a, this will be a randomizer between these two teams. Titans still fighting for the playoffs? You think they're going to beat the Rams, CLT? I mean, I know they're fighting for a playoff spot, but 
They're also going to be fighting the Los Angeles Rams, who have been a juggernaut this season. I'm the juggernaut! B? Tredavious White. Lacey is garbage, huh? Two yards carry all year? How the mighty have fallen. That's a scary thing about like running backs. They they can they can like ball out for a couple seasons and then just something doesn't quite go right. Maybe a, a, a an injury here and there. You know, maybe you 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 go to sleep on conditioning just a little bit, and then all of a sudden, the game has passed you by. At a one forty nine, Matt Stafford. I think of all, I think of all. Uh, NFL players, of all pro football players, I'm pretty sure that the running backs have the have the shortest average career of any position in football. All right. Joe Howard was guessing Cooper Cup for the redemption. Christian McCaffrey is CLT's guess. Kyle Kramer was guessing Watson. It is Kareem Hunt. R rated rookies autograph hollow. Sweet Kareems are made of these. Yesidia Lugo with the Chiefs. My rivals. The Chiefs, and Kareem Hunt included, the Chiefs have suddenly decided, hey, we're going to start playing football now. <laughs> oh, right, playoffs. we got to make those. Uh, out of 150, says Kyle Kramer, he thinks. Actually, I have the checklist up. I might as well just look at it. Hollow silver away. Uh, I think it's out of 99, actually. Rated rookie autographs, hollow out of 99. Even better. All right. Oh, this is a fun game. Who do you have? I, I want everyone's serious opinions on this. Cleveland at Chicago. Cleveland at at Chicago Bears hosting the Browns. The home team, the Chicago Bears, are minus six and a half. Who do you have? Kyle Kramer says Chicago barely. Do they barely cover? Ooh, CLT says Cleveland. I'm pretty sure Cleveland's record against the spread is about as bad as their real record, I think. Pretty sure it is. Pretty sure Cleveland is maybe have two wins against the spread. Kips is Brown's first win. Josh Gordon just balling out. 150 plus receiving. He's going to need TDs too. Man, I don't know. Mitch, Mitch Trubisky at home, he's, he's looking all right. Their, their, their def Bears defense is actually pretty decent. Kevin O says Bears to cover. The Bears says R. Michael. I think I'm going with Bears, but I, I think I'm with Kyle Kramer. Ba Bears, but barely. Barely Bears. They'll win by like seven. If that if they move that line up to minus seven, I don't think I'd take it. You know, but at six and a half, that's pretty that's pretty spicy at six and a half. Joe also Joe Howard also saying Bears. Kaiser's just a terrible decision maker. Uh, what about Tampa Bay, Carolina? Tampa Bay is at Carolina. Buccaneers at Panthers. Panthers are minus 10. Panthers are minus 10. It's gotta be Panthers, right? Uh, Buccaneers. I think I think everyone expected a little bit more from the Buccaneers. I think I'm going to go with Carolina. To Jay Sharp out of 299 for the Titans. That'll be for Rodney. There's Cam Newton speaking of the Panthers. 33 out of 149. CLT says Carolina all day, baby. Keep pounding. Yeah, this, yeah, this, this is a must-win game for Tampa Bay. Kip's pointing out, but yeah, they're not going to win, right? 
Uh, Rick kind of going. He's not lagging. He's just going back to the Browns thing. But he says he says Browns in overtime. Taiwan Taylor. He has got a great autograph. That goes to Rodney and the Titans. Rated rookie auto. Forty six out of one fifty. Bucks coming off Monday night. Got to go with Carolina, says Joe Hauer. Michael and Zima says, need the Bears to win and Texans to lose. Better draft pick for the Browns, actually, yeah. 37 out of 50. You know, there is a chance. That's Chad Hansen for the Jets, by the way, Juan, with that one. Um, you know, the the Browns could could possibly have the number one and two overall pick, depending on what happens to the Texans. 21 out of 99. Illusions. Both Bengals. John Ross. A.J. Green. We got Mike Williams. I thought that was going to be gold, but it's not. We got Buda Baker for Rick out of 199. Cardinals. Juju Smith Schuster out of 149. He's, he's emerging nicely in the NFL. There's Eddie Lacy again out of 99. Disappointing season for Eddie Lacy, that's for sure. Imagine the madness if they trade down their first and second pick, if they have those two picks. I mean, they have to take a quarterback. But that's the crazy thing, is that they're, they're probably going to have to take a quarterback if they have the one or two pick. I mean, if they have one of the top picks. I mean, they're going to have the number one pick, you know? Man. All right, nice Taiwan Taylor. That was your autograph from this box. All right, next box. Moving along nicely. All right. Oh, here's another fun one. Uh, Atlanta at New Orleans. Falcons at Saints. Saints are, uh, Westgate is giving them minus six. Minus six, Saints. What happens there? I don't know why I feel I want to say Saints, but I feel like I'm 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 struggling with saying Saints with confidence. You know, Kip saying coin flip game. Kevin O just says I'll take the over on it, probably right. Although Saints defense is not too bad. Cruz says Saints. <laughs> Michael Azima says if the Browns get one and two, they'll take Darnold and Rosen back to back. You might as well. You might as well. I mean, the Browns someday have to get a, get one of those quarterbacks right. Kyle says, Kyle says uh, Saints. Yeah, Joe also saying no idea, but I'll take the over in points. I actually don't know what the oh the over under is uh, is fifty two and a half. That might be easily the most this week. Fifty two and a half. Oh, Cruz saying Camaro will be the man in the game. That'd be interesting. Yeah, that would. Be, I feel like that would be a fun game to watch, though. I will. I will take. I, I will. I will take uh, the the Falcons. I think I'll go Falcons. I don't think they're gonna win. Well, I don't think they're gonna win, right? No, I gotta take Saints. I think the Saints will win by a touchdown. Barely.
Broncos at Redskins. Redskins minus three and a half. Broncos playing decently over the last couple weeks, actually, after a nightmare of a season for them. Mike Evans at a 299. Poor Carson Wentz. That Mike Evans will go to the Bucks. Marty at a 149. Eagles, Carson Wentz. That'll be for Karen. And we've got Davis Webb, rated rookie autograph. Nice Davis Webb for the Giants. That'll be for Stanley. That's out of 50 as well, 36 out of 50. James Conner out of 149 for the Steelers. That'll be for Jackie. There's Meet Joe Flacco. Yeah, is this the last home game for Cousins in D.C.? This is possible. Where will you like that end up? Cardinals. I say Cardinals. If Kirk Cousins goes to the Arizona Cardinals with a healthy David Johnson, there's Sam Bradford for the Vikings. Wolf with that one. There's Tom Brady, 38 out of 50. Nice Tom Brady for Karen and the Patriots. Leonard Fournette, 138 out of 149 for the Jaguars. Ryan. Trent Taylor. Elijah Hood at a 199 for the Raiders. My Raiders, that goes to Connor with my Raiders. All right. Lee, what's going on? We should fill that Bowman draft. All right, Davis Webbs. Ooh, Jets with Kirk Cousins. That could be interesting. Broncos could Broncos could use a quarterback. William Fulmer, what's going on? Ooh, Joe's very dark horse pick. That is a very dark horse pick, but that is interesting. Kirk Cousins in Pittsburgh if Big Ben retires after this season. What are the conditions of, uh, of of Big Ben retiring? Super Bowl? If the if the Steelers win a Super Bowl, does Big Ben retire? I, I probably would. All right. Um, let's see. So I'll take. Uh, I'll still stick with the the Redskins minus three and a half at home. Uh, Miami at Kansas City. Kansas City is uh, minus ten and a half. I'll go with Kansas City. I think they're playing a lot better. They finally figured out, oh, we, we should probably win some games league going into the playoffs. We should probably win our division real quick. So it looks like Kansas City is playing a lot better. Minus ten and a half is kind of big, but but I think they'll I think they'll beat the uh, beat the Dolphins uh, pretty pretty easily, especially since they're at home. Uh, Buffalo at New England. New England is minus twelve. New England is minus 12. Mac, I have no idea if Totally Certified will go tonight. My, I will say yes. There, there's your answer, yes. New England minus 12. I don't know, for some reason the Dolphins kind of have their number, but Buffalo going into New England but it's minus 12, though. But Patriots always cover. I'm just, I'm, uh, Kevin Oliveira says, Kevin O says Buffalo. He says Bills. Sean, what's going on, man? 
Huh. And Kevin says, I'm a Patriots fan too. Joe says, New England wins, but Buffalo covers. I think that might be the situation. Kip, zero chance Buffalo covers? Out of 299, Jordy Nelson. That'll go to the Packers, James Barron. Jordan Leggett to 25. Nice one for the Jets. That'll be for, for Juan. Juan with the Jets. That's Hub City. I keep saying New England the rest playing for that one seed. Yeah, but I mean, they, the Buffalo could still cover, right? Unless there's money involved. Follow the money, right? If there's refs on the take. Another hot box. Elijah Hood for the Raiders. That goes to Connor with my Raiders. Yeah, Kyle saying, hey, refs need to lay off. Too, taking too much control in these games as of late. I think they also need to change up that rule book, too. Got to simplify that rule book. 61 out of 99, another Odell Beckham Jr. for the New York Football Giants. That'll be for Stanley. Joe Cool. I love those AKA cards. Mike Williams. Speaking of the bills, I need to find some bills for Sam. Maybe in this hot box. Uh, yeah, I, th I think, you know what? I'll take the bills. I don't think they're going to win. Do not think they're going to win, but I think they, they will just get into under that that 12-point margin. Prime time for the Cowboys. 24 out of 99. That'll go to Dallas. That'll be for Victor Z. To Jay Sharp, out of 149 for the Titans. We've got Jacksonville at San Francisco. There's Jake Butt. He's a tight end. 22 out of 25. That'll go to Connor and the Broncos, Oppo Joe Mojo. Oh, yeah, he got the rivalry teams, Raiders and Broncos. Raider Joe Mojo, Oppo Joe. Mojo. We got Randall Cobb to 199. Um, Jacksonville in San Francisco. I say Jacksonville is minus four and a half. They're road favorites. Road favorites. I say. I say Jacksonville's got to win this one. San Francisco's been playing a lot better lately, but I think that I think the Jaguars can can beat the Niners probably by a touchdown and a couple field goals. I guess more than more than four and a half points. That's for sure. Uh, New York Football Giants at Arizona. The Giants are in Arizona. Cardinals are minus three and a half. I don't think that's going to be a very good game. <laughs> I think this game might have the lowest points total. It's at 40. The lowest over-under of all the games. Um, Giants at Cardinals. Cardinals minus 3.5. I'll take the New York Football Giants. That's what I say. New York Football Giants. Oh, Sam, we're, Sam's giving up on this break already. Do you want to sell the bills right now, Sam? Do you want to take that chance? This break's not even over. We've got one, two, three, four boxes left. I'm taking the Giants in that one. Yeah, Stanton is starting to take the Giants. Yeah, they needed. They could use a Kirk Cousins for sure. Um, next game, C 
Seattle. I know we have Seahawks fans in here. Kyle Kramer, Cruz, etc. Seattle going to the Big D. The Seahawks battling the Cowboys. Cowboys are minus five. Cowboys are minus five. There's Jeremy Hill for the Bengals. That'll be out of 299 for Cincinnati. That'll be for Heggs. Just a refractor for JJ Swat. Kyle Kramer says Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott comes back, runs wild. That'll probably be what happens, I think. Philip Rivers, 8 out of 50 for the Chargers. That'll be for Victor Z. Julio Jones for the Falcons, 44 out of 99. For the Dirty Birds, Stanley. And Philip Rivers, wow, Philip Rivers Gridiron Kings autograph. Victor Z with the Los Angeles Chargers. Nice. Nine out of ten. This gunslinger here. So these were the autographs from the previous box. And there's the Philip Rivers. Nice. There's Greg Olson for the Panthers out of one ninety nine. There's Genevieve Morton. I don't think she's actually a Rams fan. I don't know, we'll have to ask. Genevieve, if you're watching, um, come come and visit me here in Redondo Beach, California. Uh, you can just visit the website for the address, jaspieshobbyland.com, and we can talk about the your love for the Rams. So feel free to pop by. Samaj Piran, 75 out of 199 for the Redskins. That'll be for Kip. Kip, hooray. Dalvin Cook, Vikings. That'll be... 93 out of 99. Poor Dalvin Cook, but he'll be back. The Vikings are already this good without Dalvin Cook. Wolf with that one. Wayne Gallman out of 299 for the New York Football Giants. All right, three boxes to go, folks. Nice Philip Rivers. Um, so Dallas minus five. I gotta go with the uh, yeah. I'm going with the Cowboys. I think Seattle just too many injuries piling up. On the road, Cowboys rejuvenated with uh, with Ezekiel Elliott back in the lineup. That's what I'm thinking there. Kyle Kramer asking, hey, I don't know who to start, Dak or uh, Russell Wilson. Joe Howard saying Russell Wilson. They'll throw more and could get cheap scramble yards. Yeah, I agree. Probably more on the scramble yards. That that uh, that Bron Broncos, that, uh, that Cowboys secondary, actually pretty good. That might, be a, that might be a tough game on the road for them. The over-under is 47 and a half. That's a decent point total. Could be a shootout, I guess. I could see, I could see that happening. But yeah, I mean, I would, I would also, for the same reasons, I would also lean towards, towards Russell Wilson. I mean, the Seahawks were a little embarrassed last weekend. You know what I mean? And I, I don't think they, I don't think they want to go through that again. I, th I think they'll be extra motivated. You know, 
to, to at least put points. I don't know if they're going to win, but put points on the board. Yeah, anything's possible, Steve Stone. Just like Adidas. All right, AJ Green in that retro look. 14 out of 99. That goes to the Bengals. That'll be for Heggs. And we got a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? There's Brad Kaya for the Lions out of 199. Devonta Freeman out of 299 for the Falcons. That'll be for Stanley. Amara Darbo for the Seahawks out of 24 out of 99. There's Isaiah Ford. Willem Ful uh, Fulmer saying Joe Mixon redemption. Jeremy Sprinkle for the uh, 49. Yeah, 49 out of 50 for Kip and the Redskins. There's You Like That. Illusions. Steve Young, Joe Montana, both of those will go to the Niners. There's Kareem Hunt, 160 out of 299. For the Chiefs, that goes to Yasinia. Demarcus Walker. Out of 149 for the Broncos, that'll be for Connor. Um, apparently, Mixon has signed. Joe Howard saying Cooper Cup again. Joe Mixon signed, and Fournette apparently is live too. And Kyle Kramer is going to guess Watson again. Deshaun Watson. And it's going to be another Kareem Hunt, rated rookies, autograph red. Another Kareem Hunt. Sweet Kareems are made of these. The red is out of, I don't know what it's out of. Oh, out of 50. Out of 50. Another one for the Chiefs. Good time to start getting Kareem Hunt again. Two boxes to go, at least two autographs to go. We may be surprised with another above average box. Let's see what we get at the very end. Good luck to everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me throughout this break. Really appreciate it. Someone's gonna win a transcendent spot after this. So we'll do that randomizer afterwards. All right. Next one. Next game. Pittsburgh at Houston. The Steelers at Texans. Steelers are minus nine. They're minus nine. They're road favorites. Almost double digit road favorites. Do you take the home team? When you're almost, almost a double-digit road favorite. Do the Texans kind of sneak in there and be like, all right, maybe. Maybe the Texans get within, my, within nine points. I don't know. Big Ben on the road. Sometimes he doesn't play well on the road. Sometimes he's a different player on the road. No Antonio Brown. Blue line takes the points. I think I, I think I'll go with Houston. I think I'm gonna go with Houston. I don't think they're gonna win.
So I think I think Houston can keep it uh, keep it surprisingly close. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everybody. Jared Davis flying all over the place. There's Deshaun Jackson, 11 out of 25. Nice one for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Marty. We got D.D. Westbrook for the Jaguars. That'll be 107 out of 149. Marlon Humphrey for the Ravens at a two ninety nine. The famous Derek Carr for my Raiders, twenty two out of one forty nine. Raiders with a kind of an off season this year, Connor. It's kind of weird. And the autograph is Alvin Kamara. Nice. For the Saints, Jackie Rudko with the Nolens Saints. 15 out of 35. Lights, Kamara, action. Tyreek Hill out of 149. Tom Brady again. Malachi Dupree. Marlon Mack. 16 out of 99. Going to Rick and the Colts. Demarcus Walker. Out of 149 for the Broncos. And that's that. All right. Last box coming up. We'll have a couple randomizers here at the end. Oh, and the last game, folks. Saving the best game for last. My Oakland Raiders traveling all the way across the country to Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love where the Philadelphia Eagles are minus nine at home. The Raiders, whose playoff chances are pretty much done after Derek Carr fumbled the football out of the end zone for a touchback. Just kind of a weird rule, I think. But uh, Nick, I mean, Nick Foles? Uh, Nick Foles looked okay. No, I, th I think I think the Eagles are gonna win. That's a Sunday night game. That's a Christmas night game. Will the Raiders bum me out on Christmas? Probably. Yeah, I think I think the Eagles have this one. I think they'll win by I don't know, 10, 13 points or something like that. Probably bet the Raiders though. It's the money line on the Raiders. Screw it. Go Raiders. I I picked the Raiders. Minus nine. Well, the Raiders are plus nine. Yeah, Raiders. Going into Philly. You know? They're gonna win. Christmas Day Miracle. It'll be it'll it'll be called the Christmas Day Miracle. There'll be some you know, there'll be some wacky last-minute play. I don't know what's going to happen, but the Raiders are always going to be involved in something weird. There'll be some weird last-minute play, and it'll be it'll be known henceforth, henceforth known as the Christmas Miracle Game. All right, folks, last box. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Deshaun Watson out of 299 for Joe Howard. 
And your last autograph is Chad Kelly for the Broncos and Connor. I feel like there's a lot of cards left. Or is there going to be more autos in there? Nice Chad Kelly for Connor and the Broncos. Or Michael saying, Amari Cooper, a shell of himself. Yeah, I know. He's had a weird season this year. The Raiders, in general, has had a weird season this year. Wayne Gallman, rated rookie. Four out of 25. Nice one for the Giants. Jackie with the Giants. Another hot box? Marlon Humphrey. For the Ravens, Joe Hauer playing like a Raven today. Not sure how a Raven plays. I guess the animal, that is. 62 out of 75, Marlon Humphrey autograph. R. Joshua Dobbs, rated rookie autograph for Jackie and the Steelers. Nice one, Rudko. One out of 35. Is this a three autograph hot box or a four autograph hot box? We will find out. There's Alshon Jeffrey for the Eagles. You're welcome, Joe. 108 out of 149. And Awuzie. <laughs> one of the uh, bright young cornerbacks for the Cowboys. That'll be the last auto, I think. For Victor Z. All right, there's Illusions. 33 out of 99, so that'll be a separate randomizer. That definitely is an illusion. Deshaun Kaiser and Joe Montana. All right, let's see if there's any other parallels we can find here. Jeremy Sprinkle, another parallel for Kip and the Redskins out of 199. And the last bit here. Gridiron Kings, Big Ben Roethlisberger, 93 out of 99. Cam Newton for the Panthers out of 199. That'll be for Jackie. And that, my friends, is that. And there you have it, folks. Nice solid break. A lot of big hits. Started off with that Deshaun Watson patch auto, which was strong. And we got an extra hot box, too. All right, so we've got three random, four randomizers to do. With the It's these illusions cards, but the ones that are not serial numbered, just the regular base ones, left or right, teams will get them, and then we'll do these illusions cards right here. The out of 149, the out of 99, and the transcendent randomizer. All right, so I need one, two, three, four lists. One, two, three, four. So for the first list will be the left right randomizer the next one is the Ill the illusions what are they what are they calling these yeah illusions Deonta Foreman Texans and Ricky Williams Dolphins next illusions out of 99 Deshaun Kaiser Browns and Joe Montana 49ers I don't, I don't know if anyone's gonna be fooled by that one um, and let's grab everyone's, uh, well, let's see who gets entries into this transcendent randomizer, first of all. Let's sort it by your first name. So you have to buy at least two teams each. Connor with an entry. J Jackie with an entry. James Barron with an entry. Joe Hauer with an entry. Karen has an entry. Kyle Kramer has an entry. Rick has an entry. Ryan with an entry. Stanley with an entry. And Victor Z with an entry. So there are 16 max entries in this. And we only have 10, which is great odds for you 10 folks right here. Great odds to get a transcendent baseball spot on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Same dice roll and same number of randomizers. And it's going to be 5, 1, and a 4, 5 times. 
Left, right first, one, two, three, four, and a one, five times. Stage with the left side. So the left side will get those illusions cards, so all the teams on the left. Now for these serial numbered ones, they'll be randomized separately. Once again, one and a four, five times for Texans Dolphins. One, two, three, four, and five. Texans will get that one. A little bonus for Joe Hauer. Joe with a nice break. 87 out of 149. Next one, five times. Browns Niners. One, two, three, four, and five. Stays with the Niners. Stays with James Barron. James with the Deshaun Kaiser, Joe Montana, 33 out of 99. And last but not least, the transcendent spot. One and a four. Five times for the names. One, two, three, four, and five. Ryan on top. Royal for speed. One for two on randomizers today. That's a good streak. You get a spot in transcendent baseball on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.